suitcase in front of the thing. Well, it's on now, so. Uh, Hi. <laughs> hey, little hmm. buggy. Yes, I changed my hair. It's great. It's dark. It's weird. It's awesome. And um, it's Yes. And today we're going to be telling you guys some things because this chickadee just got out of school. She just finished. She just finally graduated a year. Two questions that a lot of people have asked me when I, you know, when I talk to them or whatever people ask me. I have two cards. You want to pick one, and I'm going to pick one. Pick one. Top or bottom? Top or bottom? Top or bottom? <laughs> top. top or bottom? Okay, here you go. That's so sexual. Whatever. Um, <laughs> so, so. Okay. I'm going to read mine first. I don't like this one. Can I do that? Oh well, I'm gonna read mine first. Okay. We're gonna, we're both gonna answer. The, we're both gonna answer each question. I'm gonna read the one I have first, and then she'll read hers. And hopefully, this will give you some tips about high school. Unless we're horrible at it. <laughs> if you don't like the advice, then don't listen to it. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> first, is a high school boyfriend necessary? Hmm. No. Nope. And some of you would be asking, but isn't it like something you need to have in school? No, it is not. You don't need a boyfriend, you need to focus on your studies. Get yourself to college. People walking around here with boyfriends and they get heartbroken and say, Oh, my boyfriend broke up with me, that's why I didn't do good on my test. No, you didn't do good on your test because you didn't do good on your test. It had nothing to do with that man or so-called man you were hanging around with trying to be boyfriend and girlfriend with. And then you guys think that you're married. My boyfriend was talking to this other girl. My boyfriend kissed this other girl. You're in high school. It's bound to happen. The boys, they haven't learned how to be men yet. P.S. Your life's not over. Exactly. I'm 18. I still have never had a boyfriend. So, Same. the... Not gonna say it. Anyway, so what? I was gonna say so the... Uh, but, but I didn't say it, so... So the... What? So the beep what? So the... No, I was kidding. No. Uh, but seriously, I'm trying not to be so weird. That thing. Uh, <laughs> do you think it's necessary? Er, no. No, it's not. Why? Because they got all caught up in the relationship, they don't focus on their studies, and I need to talk louder. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tad. Not that low. <laughs> Where was I going with this? <laughs> Point blank, you don't need a boyfriend in high school. Why? Because you have your whole life ahead of you. You don't even need one in college. If you find one in college, hey, it's a little bit better, they're a little bit more mature. But both of you are going to be maturing throughout your entire life. I believe that after you've gotten halfway to where you want to be, after you know that you can get good grades and do what you have to do, maybe you can take on somebody else. Maybe that's okay. But for me, I don't think you should have one in high school because your emotions are running wild. It's not something that needs to be done. Because things happen. Sometimes babies are made and you don't want that to happen when you're in high school because then you'll have... If your no parents... More problems. And if your parents are not the type of parents that want to have to deal with your child, you're going to not be able to go to college and you might have to go out of high school. And you might become a dropout deadbeat. Nobody wants that. So, I would say... Nope. No boyfriend. Not in high school. Next question. <laughs> uh, how did we survive in high school? Ooh. I ate a lot and slept. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. No, I. we did our work. I'm not kidding. But, we, you know, we, we, I did my work. We did our work. It was, I don't know, we did our work to the best of our ability. And... I was a little, I was a procrastinator, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't that great at math, and I didn't really care one way or the other about it, but when it came time for the fact that I felt like, hey, I need to get my life in order, and I'm about to be a grown-up in college, I'm about to be 18, I know that 18, some of you are like, oh, she's still a baby, so what? I'm considering growing up to the state, 
and they're not going to go easy on me like they do in high school. And they haven't been going easy on me. And I wish that I would have done more in high school because if I did, maybe college wouldn't seem so bad. Maybe my head wouldn't be so full of... <laughs> it wouldn't feel that way every time I walked into a classroom. So, how did I survive high school? I had a lot of friends. Especially this girl right here. I mean, we met my senior year, which is still okay. My and junior year. Right. My senior year, her junior. So. And now we're both graduated. Ah! And we're both about to be going to the same college. We've been friends for... Two years? Yeah. been friends for two years. Almost three, because it's almost 2016. Oh my god. And, and we survived with other friends and each other. It's... When I met her... She was almost done, but she still had a year to go. And I'm so glad that I met her. I'm so glad that I got to be a part of this chick's life. Because if I wasn't, I don't think that I'd be... I, don't, I, I, I feel like I just wouldn't be me right now. Some of the things I wouldn't be without this girl. <laughs> we survived with people. You have to have a nice basis of friendship. Something you can, you know... Hold on to. Exactly. Because the rest of it kind of sucks. <laughs> Trust me, there are those people, like the person who shall rena remain nameless. Who's at the door? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the person who shall remain nameless. That's kind of, eh. There's noises in the background. I apologize, but, you know. But yeah, there's those people that want to beat you down. Those people that want to make you feel like you're crap and you're not. And it's friends like this. That make you feel like you're amazing and you're wonderful and you're awesome and you have something to give the world. Anything you want to add? We're awesome. <laughs> no, but overall, yes, how was your, overall, how was your high school experience? <laughs> it was good. I definitely think it's a roller coaster. Um, or not just emotionally, but like. Well, mm, mostly emotionally. Mostly emotionally? Yeah, mentally. You know. It's I don't things, think school's like, ever been a physical challenge. Except stairs. But you guys didn't have stairs. I did, though. <laughs> I had stairs. <laughs> that was stairs, a stairs equal death. Either way, you wouldn't have had to worry about stairs. You get the best of both worlds, girl. Mm. That's not fair. <laughs> okay, we can talk about it over Slim Jones and coffee. We forgot the SpaghettiOs. Just shun me. <laughs> shun the unbeliever! No. Um, so, you guys, I know that this video, you guys are probably like, oh my god, it's summer, we don't want to talk about school. For those of you going back to high school, don't worry about a boyfriend. Don't, don't worry, worry about... first entering high school. <laughs> exactly. Don't worry about a boyfriend. Don't worry about clicks. Don't worry about pretty girls don't worry about popular kids just be yourself be who you want to be be who whoever it is you feel like you are because nine times out of ten that's the best person that you could ever be and i'm so glad that i didn't change for anybody because if i did i probably wouldn't have met her and she probably wouldn't have met me i have commentary and one more thing also the whole prom king and queen thing i think is a little <laughs> overrated i mean kind of it's just one night of your entire year. That's it. I mean, you might carry it with you, but really there's no point. It's just one night, and whether you get nominated or you win it or not, it's not going to matter because it's just one night. Exactly. It's one night of your entire life. Yeah. The one thing I think you guys should do, make beautiful friendships. <laughs> Find people that you love to talk to. <laughs> Find people that you love to talk to. Within time, when you get older and you're grown up and you're in college or maybe even after college, those same best friends, guys or girls, could be the person you're supposed to be with and you don't even know it yet. But the thing is, you need to just do what you're going to do and let life take its course the way that it's going to do whatever it is it's going to do. You shouldn't try to push it into motion. You should just... Let it flow, because that truly is, I think, how memories are made.
It's great when you don't try to stop the ups and the downs and you don't try to fix it before it happens. Just let it happen. There's people, a the reason... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> the reason people learn from their mistakes is because they made the mistakes. Exactly. If you never made a mistake, you'd never learn anything, now would you? So, without further ado, I think that is all we have to say. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Keep the peace and love. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of the morning, afternoon, or night whenever you're watching this. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. <laughs> um, and if you want to hear anything else, let us know in the comments. Also, um, thought for the day. What should it be? Best high school experience you've ever had. Best high school experience you've ever had or best high school experience you think you'll ever have if you're just starting out. Or middle school. That too. High school. That too. Um, so, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. I <laughs>